Imagine you're riding a bike and pedaling forward. Your feet push the pedals, which turns the gears, which spin the wheels. But what if your pedals moved up and down instead of in circles? Would the bike still work? Machines are designed to transmit motion. They take one type of movement and change it into another. This is what makes machines so useful. Some machines use rotary motion, which means something is spinning in a circle. Bicycle wheels, car tires, and even a windmill all rely on rotary motion. But sometimes, rotary motion needs to be transferred to another part of the machine. That's where gears come in. Gears are wheels with teeth that fit together. And when one gear turns, it makes another gear turn too. This helps machines increase speed, change direction, or transfer force. A great example of this is a clock. Inside a clock, small gears turn bigger gears, making the hands move at different speeds. The second hand moves quickly, while the hour hand moves slowly. Without gears, a clock wouldn't keep time properly. Other machines use linear motion, where something moves in a straight line. Elevators move straight up and down. Sliding doors move side to side. And a paper cutter moves straight down to slice paper. But sometimes, linear motion needs to be turned into rotary motion. Think about a car engine. The pistons inside the engine move up and down, but the car's wheels need to spin. A special part called a crankshaft changes the up and down motion of the pistons into rotary motion, making the wheels turn and the car move forward. Some machines use reciprocating motion, which means moving back and forth, like a seesaw or a sewing machine needle. A train's steam engine moves pistons in a back and forth motion to power the wheels. Some tools, like electric saws, also move back and forth to cut wood or metal. Machines are designed to take one kind of motion and change it into another. Whether it's a clock keeping time, a bike moving forward, or a car engine running, machines are constantly transferring motion in different ways. The next time you ride a bike or use a tool, think about how motion is being passed from one part to another to make the machine work.